In my last two videos, I featured Gail Solani and Jax Orn, the decks that I used to rank up my main account from Platinum to Masters. After that, I started searching for new decks to rank up one of my other accounts. Today's video will feature Tristana Timo Shadow Isles, the deck that I used to climb from Platinum to Diamond with 70% win rate. Tristana Timo Shadow Isles is a versatile deck that combines elements of both aggro and control in its playstyle. In this introduction, I will discuss the deck's strategy for the mulligan, early to mid game, and late game phases. For the mulligan, you should always keep early units that help progress Tristana's level up, such as Tristana herself, Timo, Minion, Grandfather Fey, and Bandel City Mayor. Depending on the opponent's deck, you can also keep control tools in your starting hand. Cards such as Group Shot, Quietus, and Pokey Stick are great against Swarm decks with small units. Buster Shot and Hate Spike are great against decks with early threats like Lulu or Jinx. If you have a good starting hand, you can also keep Vengeance and Aloof Travelers as removals for larger units like Viego or Orn. In the early to mid game, Tristana Timo aims to deal as much Nexus damage as possible through a combination of aggression and control. You have two main objectives to pursue during this phase. First, you want to swarm the board with cheap, multi-region units. This both threatens wide attacks and progresses Tristana's level up requirement. Swarming your own board and controlling the opponent's board at the same time is possible because most of your units and spells are low cost. You can enhance your attacks by clearing enemy blockers with cheap and efficient removals like Buster Shot, Quietus, Group Shot, and the recently buffed Hate Spike. This will be the general game plan that you can follow, but two key units that add flexibility to this deck are Wandering Shepherd and Bandel City Mayor. You will use these cards differently depending on the matchup and the board state. Starting with Wandering Shepherd, how you use it will depend on whether the opposing deck has removal for Tristana or not. Against decks that don't have good removal options for Tristana, such as Katarina Leona or Pirate Agro, you want to improvise a weapon on your Tristana. Your best choices would be Fishawak or Upcycle Drake. Against decks that have removals for Tristana, such as Darkness Control or Raven Bloom Conservatory Control, you may want to spread out your threats and instead improvise a weapon on your other units. Hungry Owlcat is a good alternative weapon holder because of its spell shield. Regarding Bandal City Mayor, if you think you can end the game within the few turns, you can go wide by manifesting cheaper units like Blast Cone Seedling or Grandfather Fey. If you think the game will go to the late game, you can manifest higher value units like Poros Lead or Shark Trainer. The final point for the early to mid game strategy is the utility of Aloof Travelers and Vengeance against big units like Viego and Orn. For example, if you have Aloof Travelers, you want to use it before turn 6 against Viego and before turn 7 against Orn. If you have Vengeance, make sure to bank spell mana to counter these large units as they come down. Your strategy in the late game will depend on how your early to mid game progressed. There are typically three scenarios that you may encounter with Tristana Timo in the late game. Scenario 1 is that your opponent was overwhelmed by your pressure and you are close to winning. In this case, continue following your strategy of making wide attacks and you will ultimately win. Scenario 2 is that you have inflicted nexus damage, but the board state remains relatively even. In these situations, you may need to use atrocity as your win condition. Level 2 Tristana is the best target for atrocity, but you can also consider other units based on your opponent's nexus health. Scenario 3 is when the game extends into a long, drawn-out match between top decks. This is a common scenario for Tristana Timo, so be prepared for long games. In these types of games, use Bandel City Mayor to search for expensive threats and take advantage of the improvised equipment returning to your hand. These equipment can turn cheap units into game-ending threats, especially if the board is empty. That concludes the deck strategy for Tristana Timo. As always, if you learned something from this video, don't forget to leave a like and a random or non-random comment. This little gesture will help out a lot for the growth of my channel. The bigger my channel gets, the more I can focus on creating more videos like this. Good luck to your ladder games! Mm-hmm. I always keep Grandfather Fey because it progresses progresses the level up of Tristana very nicely. Triple Trist? Hi. Let's see what this hand does. Probably not much. Hate 
ain't no shadows in here, friend. I don't think I play Grandfather Fay. I I just wait for now, probably. Hmm. Right now, Tristana gets quietest, huh? I think I just go Bandle City Mayor first. I do like Piltov and Castaway. It refills some of my mana. If opponent plays another husk, I probably try and kill it for Evelyn. Ah. Stopping the scattered husk is risky. They could just reply with their hate spike. So I grandfather Faye and then Tristana. I don't want to keep drop Tristana yet because she's still within range of uh quietus getting warmer shall we bully off i don't want my bandel city mirror to go in range of quietus it's going to help me tempo out in the next few turns that's fine i have more tristanas no worries Oh, I will want to play Aloof Traveler soon for the Viego. Or the Invasive Hydravine. The problem is we can't Tristana yet. No, we, we just play Aloof Travelers, right? Might get the shot. We might get to shut them down. You dropped something. I dropped everything. Nice. We're gonna be in trouble if they get to play Viego easily. Don't tell me you have another Viego. Probably not, right? If they do, we can Vengeance. We can sacrifice you. We can probably sacrifice you. To get the hand read, maybe? Put our stuff did it. Okay, bye bye, Vengeance. Lovely day for a battle. I'm Tristana, and I take point. Looking splendid, sir. Very mayoral. You know his hat and mustache are key, huh? Inspires trust and all that. Hmm, what was that card? Black Spear. Hate Spike, Vile Feast. Oh, they have Black Spear. Okay. That's fine. They have Black Spear. But that's a 2 for 1 trade, which I'm fine with. We have card advantage. Now if they vengeance we can go wide for an attack. When I allow you. Looks like they finally ran out of cards to play. I'm still saving up mana for vengeance just in case they drop uh, Evelyn. I they drop below Evelyn. I don't think I'll try killing it this round. But I want to get the Atun from Piltov and Castaway as soon as possible. Right. Scout seems good. I think they wouldn't want to block the scout attack. So let's start with the scout the scout unit. Now we get to transfer the scout to another unit. Uh 
Oh, this is so dangerous for you, opponent. You need to block. Hi. And now we get to keep vengeance. Actually, opponent's within atro range too. So if opponent plays a big unit, we just atro and go. Uh, the only thing that I lose to is third, third black spear. I want them to tap below mana, then we go for Atro. I love it when they scream. You could just kill the. You can just kill and go for a, a strong attack next turn. Oh, I paid. I paid for that mistake, huh? I paid for that mistake. Scream for me. I paid for that mistake. Let's see what we get from this first. Uh, I like Shark Trainer, but if I use Scout, I can't use Shark Trainer right now. Oh, I, I can, I can. I think this will still deal the most damage. That might be a mistake because this uh, this loses to Vile Feast and shit. Never know what hit I paid hard earlier. I should have just kept up mana for Atro. A scout never... They block with Evelyn. Or they don't block at all. I should have just kept up mana. I for... I forgot about Embl Evelyn's champion spell. I forgot that, that that could counter me. My bad. That's it. Oh, we have second vengeance. We're gonna make them make them block some shark tooths. Let's make them block shark tooths. Kinda need to block here, sir. I probably won't vengeance Evelyn Evelyn anymore, just in case they have her champion spell. Oh, don't tell me it's a double withering whale or something. Alright, they vengeance there. I have to use one of my Atros at some point, right? No, no, we just Vengeance uh, other units. The Evelyn's not a threat yet. This deals 5 damage? I don't really like that, that they might get a regen. I don't like that. It will force me to vengeance the, the Evelyn. And I don't like that. This game would have been over if I just saved uh, mana for Atro by the way.
hit one Yordle portal and suddenly geography means nothing. I don't think I need to block the in the Do I need to block the encroaching mist? Let's just do it. Keep ourselves safe for Matro. Yeah, let's just block. Keep ourselves safe for Matro. We get the minion back next turn anyway. Just Atro or bust time, right? I should have pokey the Ev Ev the Evelyn, and then I could force them to atrocity here. We we, we just wait slightly longer. We just wait for now. If I have no choice, I'm just gonna atro. Surrender to me. And I, I, I think I, I am very close to having no choice now. Six twelve. I will find her. Yeah, I have no choice. We just atro now. Atro or bust. We need to block everything? I said block. Maybe not yet. Still have hope. It depends on the top decks that we get. Hello, love. Who's your plaything? Oh, it's over. Another leader desperate to lose control. Nothing new. Oh, I misplayed a lot this game. I didn't deserve this win. I didn't deserve the win. Oh, what an undeserved win! But now we know to play around Evelyn's champion spell. Now we know to play around Evelyn's champion spell. I definitely think we should be unfavored against Jaxorn if they play the fish fights correctly. I think I'm saving Quietus. Just in case they're running the Bone Club version. If they use Bone Club, we just shut them down. I think they have Bone Club. You usually have Bone Club if you choose to do this. Let's wait for them to bone club. Oh yeah, the bone club. Use it. No bone club, but that's okay. Did I have just pokey sticked there? I wanted them to use bone club on the Pauti Poro. I think we just win if we get that trade in. Okay. 
I can Bandel City Mayor. Grandfather Faye. Seems good. I want them to forge the scout unit and then I quietus it. Or I quietus it on turn 6 before they play Orn. Either way will be good. The Stana doesn't do anything yet. She, at one attack, she didn't do anything. We're gonna play her later. I knew it was coming! I knew it was coming! I never doubted myself. I never doubted myself. <laughs> and now we secure the NAR level up. Okay. I think we just uh, spread out with Grandfather Faye now. So we can go Tristana, Faye, and two Owlcat. Or we can just go double double Faye. Spread out by a lot. I think I just spread out now. Yeah, I spread out here. Or I could I could Tristana. I could also Tristana and Wandering Shepherd and then spread out next turn. That also works. So I'm gonna Wandering Shepherd and then uh, I might go for the open attack next turn. Or do I just read? I, I think I redevelop further. With gra uh, with the Grandfather Faye. Uh, okay. Shepherd's Authority? We attack is kinda useless. We level up Tristana next turn. Yeah, we always develop here. Suppose you brought any good spices with you? No, but I did pick up some delightful mushrooms. For I'm Tristana, and I take point. Yeah, we just uh, attack with everything now. The mana discount from Vandal City Mayor doesn't matter anymore. We just go, go, go. If they fish fight, I can counter with. Uh, hate spike plus pokey stick. Yeah, I can counter with that. But if they have troll chant, that would be bothersome. Okay. I take you. Attack with you. I don't attack with these three for now. Or do we? I think we do. They have to block the Tristana for sure. They have to block Tristana for sure, and then if they block one of these, that's fine. Okay, I'm happy with that. I'm happy with that too. The the mayor discount doesn't matter anymore. Now I just have to Vengeance Orn next turn, and we're good. Okay. I don't like the idea that they get to keep a unit alive. So I'm just gonna pokey stick. We're not gonna let them have even one unit left alive. If they order next turn, uh, they can't target a weapon, so they automatically get combat reel. They don't get a cycle drake. Because if you don't have units on board, uh, Orn automatically gets the strongest uh, weapon in your hand. But honestly, it doesn't matter because we Vengeance Orn anyway. But at least they don't get double up Cycle Drakes. Oh, okay, we're just two wins away. Two wins away from Diamond now. Twisted Fate Kataria Annie, so it's another control deck. Buster Shot would be good, but we can't play it for, for 2 mana early without a good hand. Uh, we could equip Timo with a weapon on turn 3. That's something we could do. 
Unless they have Blade's Edge. So we just go Grandfather Fae into Wandering Shepherd. Or even Grandfather Fae into More Face. We could save the Shepherd for later, actually. Maybe we can just swarm and force them to block. It'll be difficult for them to block here. Against a swarm swarm unit swarm unit. <laughs> against a board of swarm units. Uh heavy metal. That was maybe a heavy metal. I don't think it's a make it rain. Make it rain doesn't do much here. Oh, double make it rain. Why oh, that does much. So that's a two for two trade. But then both my both my grandfather face gave me more owl cats. So we're still slightly ahead in terms of card advantage. Keep up, keep up. <laughs> Let's do this. So we just attack? Do we attack now? Twisted Fate doesn't do much. What if they twisted fate into Death's Dance? Or Death's Lotus. Yeah, Twisted Fate in the Death Lotus is the great punish for us. And they likely have it. Yeah, they likely have it. You don't just take that damage if you don't have a way to deal with my board. I think I'm fine doing this. Because I get the weapon back in hand. Fishawak? And then I'm not gonna go commit anything else. They have I, okay. I can take two. I, I don't have an issue taking two here. I think we just wanna go wide again. I wanna wait for them to commit Twisted Fate. Death Hand, if they Death Hand here, it will allow me to go wide. Yeah, they they want to do this. I knew it. They want to they want to do twisted fate in the death lotus. I could smell it from a mile away. This requires my largest official hand. I'm gonna try to force out hard removals on Shark Trainer first. It's likely they have Death Lotus. I don't know if I should be too scared of it. Just in case they do, I'm not gonna attack with all my one cost units. I'm just gonna attack with some of them. Never play fair. Maybe they don't have it, huh? Now, that was the only reason why they, they were Twisted Fate there. As if they had Death Lotus. It looks like no death lotus. This might hurt. But our board is go get getting bigger. What does this opponent do? I still have my Tristana in hand, by the way, but I'm not gonna commit Tristana yet because I, I have the shark trainer anyway. I keep applying pressure. So they don't have Death Lotus, we have Atrocity. We have Tristana plus Atrocity now as a possible win con. Oh, it's a Rex. If they Rex, they lose. If they Rex, they lose. They'll be blood in the water. And they call me a shark. Me 
Got him. Okay, final game to Diamond. Let's try and get it. I've been getting gate kept. Been going win lose win lose for the final game to Diamond. Let's see if we can finally get it here. Oh my god, it's Rise! I hate Rise! I've been losing to Rise a lot with, with this Tristana deck. I need the Nut Hand to stop the Rise. I need an absolute Nut Hand. The problem is they have stun, they have removals, and they have heals. It's the main problem with Rise. That's why we can't win. All right, uh, basic here, nothing special going on. We're just going wide. I think I preserve my Pokey Stick plus Vengeance for Rise. We have a hand that will allow us to go wide pretty aggressively. Okay. We can go mayor into uh, minion. This will probably discard the drum solo. Okay. I do like weapons. I do like weapons. If they use uh, another shard, I'm gonna go hate spike into the claws of the dragon. Let's remove blockers, every damage counts. The, the discount for mayor doesn't matter anymore, we're gonna attack with it. Man will always fight and always die. Why? I'm gonna try to kill Rise with Hate Spike now. Nice, we, we, we get to kill the first rise. That's huge. Run. Uh, it's fine. The Fading Husk is the one that dies to the Shard of Betrayal. So we're still okay. Bye bye bad guys. This refills so much mana. It's so it's so unfair. I long for the day I cannot stand by in the face of apocalypse. And they refill their mana again. It's crazy. Kinda crazy if you ask me. If they attack, I'll hundred percent block with Tristana. I just want to go wide now. Wide as humanly possible. That works. That's fine. 
Just discount my hate spike. I don't know. You should, <laughs> you should increase the cost of my vengeance, but yeah, they went for vengeance. Okay. I I'm, I'm keep, I keep developing because uh, rises answers at all that fast speed or burst speed, right? So not developing doesn't make sense against them because they'll just punish you in combat anyway. Might as well develop the widest board possible. Uh, Steel Tempest? They're not gonna finish us this round, right? They're not gonna finish us this round. There's no way, right? Right, please do not kill me this round. They can kill me this round. I could technically kill Rise with Poke Stick Double Hate Spike. I don't like that strategy though. I think we just go for hope for the best. Okay, it looks like they don't have it. They don't have it. And I'm not gonna use aloof travelers. I don't want them to draw anything else. If they're starting with the pr with this prank, it means they likely don't have it. Okay, it's not too late to go for. Oh, it's too late to go for pokey sticks. I fucking hate rise, dude. Oh, they don't have enough mana. They don't have enough mana. It's fine. They don't have enough mana. They don't have enough mana. We're fine. They don't have rune prison yet, which is great. Oh, with that, whichever they whichever they increase the cost of, I'm I'm gonna use the other one on the. What? What? The front lines. They're getting desperate because they don't have other cards. But this is the second rise we kill. We're gonna open attack next turn. Because we don't want them to get rune prison. They could get another delve into pass and play rune prison, right? So we just open attack. No, no, no. That's okay. That's okay. That's okay. Hide them. So, if we develop, we just give them a, a chance to rune prison, draw another card. Heal up their nexus. Let's get so they likely have an answer for Tisana. This will deal 5 damage. I think we develop though. Yeah, we probably develop. Yeah, we probably develop. They likely have a uh, one answer for Tristana. Better to just go wide. So they have a rune prison, which is fine. Scout. Overwhelm. Quick attack. Overwhelm. Seen any sheep around here? I, uh, lost mine. We killed two rises already. Rune prison will get Tristana. They have to deal with five units. My rune prison will deal with another unit then. Really? Oh my god. 
Oh, I, I think I lost three consecutive games against Rise decks. And now we get our revenge on the final game to Diamond. Let's look at the win rate. Let's look at the win rate, guys. Uh, seventy point eight percent win rate in twenty four games. For some reason, when I climb, I always reach reach seventy percent win rate. I'm not doing this on purpose for the thumbnail, by the way. You saw in the video, I I faced against Rise. This is the opponent, and for some reason, it's always seventy percent. Uh, yeah. I'm gonna show you my previous games against Rise. So here we lost two consecutive games against Rise. One more loss against Rise, one win against Rise. Yeah, Rise is a bad matchup for the deck. But GG's, we reach Diamond with Tristana. Nice.